Are you looking for an easy way to tether your camera to your laptop or your computer? Well, I've just found out a way to do it wirelessly. Hey everybody, Victor from Victor G Photography here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your camera to be able to shoot wirelessly and tether it to your laptop and or computer. I don't want to mislead anybody, this actually works for your cameras that already have the Wi-Fi capability but this also works for uh, the cameras, especially ones from Nikons like the D5000, the D7000 series that have the ability to use the Wi-Fi dongle but don't have it already in there. I'm going to show you on my D750 which has Wi-Fi integrated but there are also some options for Canon and Sony that have Wi-Fi capability as well. How the Wi-Fi for at least the Nikon works is that it will actually stream to an app that goes to your tablet or your smartphone, which is great, but the downside with that is that you cannot connect it to your laptop or your tablet, then that's an issue for me. There's a few different ways that you can actually tether your camera to your laptop, whether it's by a USB, uh, USB cable directly connected to it. Lightroom does a really great job at being able to tether and give you uh, instant replay. And then there's also um, different things like CamRanger that you can use. You can get the TP link and modify that one to be able to stream wirelessly to your laptop or computer as well. The way that I do it is actually free and it involves using a software called DSLR Controller. DSLR Controller is actually an app that you can buy on iTunes or on the Google Play Store. I think it goes for nine or $10 on there, but for the computer, they actually have a version that is completely free and lets you be able to control live view uh, and do everything that you would normally be able to do on the DSL our controller on the app version. They are only asking for donations, so if you feel inclined, definitely do that for you. But let me show you how to set it up. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. You're gonna go into the internet, go to dslr-board.info, it's gonna take you to this page. Over here on your left, you have your donate button uh, for if you wanted to donate to them. On the right hand side, you have downloads, and it's gonna take you to the page where you can see the Google and the Apple Store for your phones. You have Windows right here, uh, then you have Linux, and then you have your OS X, and then Raspberry Pi. So just go ahead and click on whichever one uh, that you need, and it'll download to your computer. Once you downloaded the program, next what you're going to do is you're going to go into your camera. You're going to go into the menu settings, all the way to setup menu, go to your Wi-Fi, and then turn that on. Once you turn it on, what you're going to do is you're going to go back on your computer and go into your Wi-Fi and connect to your camera's Wi-Fi right there. Once it's connected, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the icon, DSLR dashboard, and you're going to click on it, and it might take a second to pop up, but it will. There it goes. All right, up top, you can see the three different uh, spots. You have uh, Nikon, Canon, and Sony. That's just the different Wi-Fi bandwidths that they use. I'll go ahead and click on Nikon because that's what I'm using. And it there you go. Now we're in a tether. So you have your live view button. If you just click on that, it'll actually show you everything that the camera looks at. And it's actually pretty much in real time. And uh, if you click on the AF button right there, it'll actually focus. And what's great is that you can actually click on anything on the screen and it'll focus at that point right there. Uh, you click the camera button and it'll take the photo and it will upload to your computer for live view. Oh, that's very over overblown. Um, so you can also take it out of live view and you're actually directly tethered now. So whatever you look through the photo or through the camera, it'll take the photo. Um, let me see if I can properly expose this real quick and then I will take a shot. There we go. Now it's uploading and there you go. And you have your histogram on your right hand side and exit out of that. Uh, what are these? Oh, th so this is, you can actually uh, scroll through the photos that you've already taken, uh, go back and forth and see the different ones. Up here you have the different styles. So you have uh, all the JPEGs and all the raw photos. Um, usually when I'm doing this, I'll tether it in uh, JPEG and raw with uh, only the JPEG showing because they upload so much quicker. So these buttons right here actually let you control everything on your camera. You have the top part, which is gonna have all those different buttons right there. The next row down below, uh, you have your live view, manual mode, single shutter, uh, things like that. Then right below that, you have your exposures. You can do your uh, shutter speed, your f-stop, 
right next to it, uh, ISO, things like that for you. So it's actually really cool. You can adjust that manually or you can do that on your camera yourself. And then so on and for so forth. You have your um, focusing brackets. You have all your other basics down there. Just a bunch of fun things to play with if you want to try to uh, learn a bunch of different things and have fun with it. Then let's see what else is on here. Um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty much it. So I recommend, you know, just go ahead and have fun. You have your little flash uh, power down there if you have that as well, but uh, I don't think I'll use it. And then what's great down below is you actually have real time uh, exposure. So you have your compensation down here. I'll tell you if you're underexposed or overexposed, and you can just adjust that with your shutter speed and everything like that. Um, yeah. Other than that, that is actually it for the program. It is pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, you want to play with it, have fun, uh, experiment, but it is really quick and you're able to tether easily and wirelessly to your camera, to your laptop and computer. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Talk to you guys later.